Well, <clears throat> gas prices are high and natural gas prices are really high. So for this winter, we wanna make sure we have plenty of wood to burn so we don't have to spend a bunch of money on, on natural gas. Um, but it takes work, it takes work. Uh, and we were provided this tree by the wind, blew, blew, the, blew that tree down that we showed in, in one of our previous videos. It's this rotten uh, white oak that had rotted off and the wind blew it down. And so we're gonna, today we're gonna cut this, some firewood on this new uh, northern log splitter that has a Honda engine. We're gonna stack it in this fashion here. They say it dries out quicker, so we're gonna try it. It doesn't, doesn't seem to take up as much room. <clears throat> we're eight foot diameter on the stack and we go five feet high. I think it's three and a half cords if you do that. But um, so we're gonna cut this thing up and we're gonna go 18 inches for each block of wood. So when we're cutting it, we're doing cut it at 18 inches. So I got me an 18 inch jig so you don't have to, I don't have to measure each time and I'll go through, set it down and cut with this as a, uh, as a measurement. Cut a few pieces on this uh, North Star uh, wood splitter. It is. Uh, it has a Honda engine, and I want to show you how easy this thing is to crank. But um, it's a 37 ton, and it does pretty good. But it's, it's, this Honda engine it works pretty good. But I'm going to put the choke on, and use it cranks at one time. Let's just let's just see. Put the choke on, and then I'm going to. Cut a few pieces so you can see how it runs.
Now if you can see, I've opted for these wings. These wings right here, they bolt on. And that, uh, that cuts us into four pieces whenever you're, uh, whenever you're cutting the wood. But anyway, I'm not gonna, you know, sit here and bore you with me cutting a whole thing of wood. I'm gonna cut all this wood and stack it. And... But anyway, so, when you're, when you're thinking about what you're gonna do this winter, think about firewood, you know? This wood is kind of like a lot of people's prayer life. You know, we, we may pray for things and we say, well, God never answers my prayer. We pray in faith, right? And maybe, let's just use this wood for instance, maybe you need heat this winter and you're praying, Lord, I need some wood. I'm praying for some wood. And a man shows up to your house with a log and says, I got some firewood for you, some wood. And you say, well, I don't need that. I need firewood. And the Lord provides the wood, but you're not willing to do the work to turn it into firewood. You know, that's kind of how our prayers are sometimes. We want God to answer prayer, answer prayer, but we don't, do any, we don't want to do any work. Well, the Bible said faith without works is dead. So if you want the fruits from God, you got to be willing to work some. You know, this tree was blown over. I mean, the hard part, or part of it was done, maybe not the hard part, but part of it was done for me. I don't want to go cut down one of my good trees, but one that's blown over, the timber people didn't want, I don't mind using that for firewood. So the Lord provided the wood, I just got to cut it up for the heat. Faith and works. So, have a faith in God that works. It's not a, God's not a genie that, that makes stuff out of thin air and, and gives it to you like a, a genie with wishes. You got to work. Faith and works, they go hand in hand. So if you like the content, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, give us a thumbs up.